The Ebola virus is a wily and dangerous foe. It has only seven genes and is smaller than a blood cell. But during an infection, it manages to overwhelm all of the body's defenses, eventually causing multiple organs to fail. But how does Ebola do it? Ebola is passed on through direct contact with bodily fluids of an infected person. The virus can get through mucous membranes, like the one in the eyes, nose, and mouth. It can also pass through breaks in the skin. Normally, our immune systems get rid of nasty invaders, but Ebola takes the immune system head-on and disables it. It does so by infecting the very cells that are supposed to eat it up and kill it. Instead of destroying the virus, the body's own cells are turned into Ebola-producing machines. Cells like macrophages and monocytes are disabled. Ebola also invades dendritic cells. These cells are in charge of alerting the rest of the troops to finish them off. And while they don't get infected, T cells and natural killer cells also die off, further crippling the immune system. While this is going on, infected macrophages start releasing large amounts of proteins called cytokines. Normally, immune systems use cytokines to talk to one another. These molecules can cause inflammation, allowing the body to kill the invaders. Immune cells release just enough cytokines to get the job done without harming the body. But when Ebola infects macrophages, cells produce cytokines and other molecules uncontrollably. The inflammation response goes haywire. This sets off a series of damaging events throughout the body. Let's take a look. Molecules released by macrophages form clots in small blood vessels. This condition is called disseminated intravascular coagulation. Other molecules weaken blood vessels, making blood and plasma leak out. Both of these limit blood flow to many organs, depriving them of oxygen. As the disease progresses, the virus spreads out to vital organs like the liver, spleen, and lymph nodes. Dying cells release their own cytokines and other inflammatory molecules, while bits of dead cells tell the living to produce more and more. The cytokines keep building, building, at times reaching a thousand times the norm. The body is overwhelmed. The organs suffer a lot of damage. One by one, they start shutting down. Until finally, the person succumbs to Ebola and dies.